poorest of young girls are often duped, believing they will receive training, a lucrative job, or find a better life through arranged marriage. In Vietnam, the scourge of human trafficking thrives. 30,000 Vietnamese girls have been sold to brothels in Cambodia alone. The poorest girls in the Mekong Delta region often fall victim. The Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul are helping these poor rural girls avoid the pitfalls of human trafficking, offering education and the promise of a better life. The Daughters of Charity have founded the advancement of the human rights of rural women and girls in Vietnam. The program offers girls training from elementary school through college or vocational school. To date, more than 2,000 girls have received education and faith formation. The NCCW members are changing lives. This year, the NCCW will help more than 300 poor girls get an education and rehabilitate those who have escaped human traffickers. The girls will bask in the light of Christ's love and break the bonds of poverty. region of Ethiopia, women and their children are often abused and abandoned by their husbands and families. With skyrocketing unemployment and gender inequality, these single mothers have little hope of finding food and a place to live for their children. But the Daughters of Charity of Mikale are bringing hope by building homes for these mothers and their children. The Catholic Sisters have already built 500 homes for the poorest of the poor. NCCW members are becoming the hands and feet of Christ as they fund these homes for desperate women, bringing safety and hope to some of the most vulnerable women and children in the world. village of Kitale, Kenya, women live and give birth in some of the worst slums in the world. With substandard housing, waste in the streets, and lack of safe water, little help comes for women trying to bear children safely. In the past, women of the Matisi village went without prenatal care and babies were delivered at home. Many unnecessary deaths occurred because of severe infection, birth asphyxia, or preterm delivery. But in 2006, the Diocese of Kitale established the St. Raphael Dispensary and appointed the Assumption Sisters of Eldoret to provide care for the poor. The following year, Cross International Catholic Outreach helped expand the clinic and add a maternity wing. Today, the maternity wing is preventing needless deaths caused by unattended births and providing prenatal and postnatal care to more than 600 mothers each year. In partnership with Cross International Catholic Outreach, NCCW members can provide needed supplies each year to keep the maternity wing in operation. Christ is calling us, as Christian women, to ease the pain of our sisters, to protect the innocent and most vulnerable, to uphold justice, human dignity, and save lives. In the name of Jesus.